Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this countdown clock timer directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start with a blank presentation. So we'll go to File, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout and choose Blank. For this to work best and to make it easy to modify, we're going to use a layout inside the Slide Master. So before we add anything, we'll go to View, Slide Master, we'll create our layout. For that, we can right click in this gap and choose Insert Layout. I don't need the date or the footer or the page number at the bottom, so I'll select those and click Delete. I can now format my background. For that, I'm just going to use a gradient fill that goes from black at the top to a slightly brightened version of the black where I've just dragged the slider up with the brightness setting here. We'll now format the text. And for this, I've used this bright green in standard colors. And for the font, I've used a font called Electronic Highway Sign. There'll be a link to this if you want to use exactly the same one in the description below. I'm going to make this 180 point. I can change this text to anything, but I'm just going to change it to clock. Now we can drag this out at the bottom, then go to Arrange, Align, and Align Middle to put it into the middle, and also click here to center the text. Finally, for the text formatting, I'm going to add a simple reflection. So for that, we go to Text Options under Format Shape, then select the Text Effects section, Reflection, choose the first preset, which is called Tight Reflection Touching, and I want to up the transparency to about 80%. Looking good. Now for reference, I can right click on my new layout, choose Rename and call it Clock. I can now close the master view, right click on my slide and choose Layout Clock. Now I can type in anything. So for example, one minute, and I have my first slide. If I go to Transitions, I can choose to Advance Slide after one second. I also want to apply a ticking sound. So under sound, I can go to other sound and pick the sound I want. You can use any sound for this. So now when we run it, it will tick. And then after one second, it will advance. So now all we have to do is duplicate and quickly type in the other values for the counting down clock. Control D to duplicate. Then just type in the value you want it to go to. And for the final one, we'll choose an alarm sound. So I'll go to my sounds and choose alarm. And on this final slide, I'll tick off the advanced slide after one second. So now we can play from anywhere, it will count down, and then the alarm will go. And because we've used a slide layout inside the Slide Master, it can easily be changed. Even though these are over 61 slides, I can just go to View, Slide Master. For example, I could change the font or the color. So on this one, if I decided I wanted it orange and a completely different font, I could then run the presentation and everything would change. So even though it takes a couple of minutes to put in all the different slides, you can easily modify it, which is a great use of the slide layout inside the Slide Master. I'll just quickly undo that to go back to what I had. Slide Master, Close Master View. And now you have a countdown timer that you can easily copy and paste or change the format of to make it look however you want. You can easily change the background, the color, the fonts, anything from the slide layout. If you'd like to download the source files for any of my recent PowerPoint tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. If you'd like to learn advanced PowerPoint and how to make the best PowerPoints, there are many more tutorials on this channel. And here's one to watch right now. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.